okay welcome back guys so if you haven't subscribed please do make sure you subscribe to my channel just to get more content like this in the future right that was the encouragement to kind of drop more content also for you guys so now that we're back in here so we have our egg gen tab loaded up what you're going to do if you're also a beginner don't worry you should just once you follow along you shouldn't have too much of an issue so i'm just going to be very simplistic with the entire process okay uh so first thing i want to do is kind of create a scalp so the scalp is where i'm going to be generating my eggs and airs from so it's more or less like yes scalp basically your scalp so I need a scalp for this. So I want to create a scalp. I need a scalp. I need to kind of figure out the regions where I want the air to grow out from. And I'm going to select or grab out more than what I need. Very important. More than what I need. So basically, what I'm trying to <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is that if I'm to create, let's say. Let's see. Um, let me bring out the drain to Let's see. I'm to create S for this. That means I'm going to be grabbing my scalp is going to be no, not, not this. Erase that. Choose a more brighter color for this. Okay. So my scalp is going to be grabbing more than what I need. So my scalp is going to be something around the nature of this. So I need to grab out more than what we need. So this part is going to be excluded out. So I'm going to exclude all these parts. Exclude all these parts. So the major part I actually need will be the inverse of it. So what I'm actually going to need would be everything outside. My drone <clears throat> is pretty bad. Everything outside all the way. So all this part like so. is going to be the part I need. So that's what I'm just going to create in here. Okay, clean this off, <clears throat> close this out. So let's do just that. So let me just get a closer view in here. So I'm going to select the main head. I'm going to duplicate this, bring this out of the group. Duplicate this again. Maybe, maybe one more. You're going to see why in a moment. So now for this, I would isolate this. So let's talk about getting more than what we need. So let's see if we can turn on symmetry for this. Uh, I'm not so sure if this has. <clears throat> let's see if we can use the edge flow. We kind of capture what we need. I'd like to go to the front view. So load this, isolate this also in here. Okay, so the parts we need, let's see. <clears throat> now it's not perfectly symmetrical. Not perfectly symmetrical. We're going to be doing a lot of selecting in here. Okay, this is a good start. This is a good start around here. You can select this like so. Then I would shift right click on old, I click on detach components. To face mode, double click on this, I'll delete this. Okay. Let me undo that. Let me see how much of that I'm getting out. Okay, that's fine. Delete this. Okay. 
okay so then i will go to let's see edge mode also double click on this edge now no, i'm getting too much that's too much let's do something for the neck region trying to figure out how far out the hairs of the neck i think we can grab it more than what we need so let's go around here detach components face mode don't click delete this okay right uh let's see i think i'll need to move manually in here Okay, try to figure out where I should kind of keep and where I should remove. Mm, I'm guess okay. <clears throat> I think everything that has to do with the nose. <clears throat> I think everything that has to do with the <clears throat> with the nose. I need a better visual for this. Wait a minute. Something doesn't feel right. Which one am I deleting? Great, I'm <laughs> deleting the one inside of this. Deleting the one inside of this. Anyways, let's just put this back in here. Get this out. Since we already started working on that already. So. this okay uh, we don't need the nose don't need at least some major part of the nose so I'm just going to do, do something you no know, something I'll keep some part of the nose though, maybe somewhere around here instead. Trying to get a look. Uh, it's not working correctly on the other side, so I'm just going to deselect the other side. Okay, let me remove this first, turn off the symmetry. Deselect, because it's not selecting accurately on the other side. get this all the way here then go across yeah just something you just have to do manually though it's been easier to do this in zbrush but when it says that when i do this in zbrush and i bring the mesh into maya to create sgn guides from i have major issues doing that it doesn't work accurately as it should Kind of figure out where that should be. Hmm. Okay, this around this should be fine. Wrong loop. Great, just going across way too much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's just manual process. Manual process that we just need to get out of the way.
okay see we can just get this out no okay let's do for the other side see if we can go as quickly as possible on this Okay, then the touch components face mode. <clears throat> All right, I think this should work. Okay, then we can use this as our scalp for the for the head and beard hair. Okay. So you can still use this cow for yes you can. Okay, then let's see. Yeah, I think there's an inner part of inner part of the mouth that we need to Okay, don't need don't need these parts. So let's see you can get a loop in there. Can we get can we get the loop? Let's try something down here instead. Let's try the the touch. Okay, that was a good one. For not deleting the lips. Checking those mission not deleting part of oh, it won't really matter though. It's an able to be generated from there. Okay. This is fine. Okay. So let me just name this to head head hair scalp. I think if I should and that scalp again for just the just the beard just the beard just the beard and the mustache or just keep this the way it is you can just you can still use the same scalp for generating beard and hair and other parts too okay let me just leave this as it is <clears throat> Then I'll review this go out of solo mode. Isolate this. For this, I'll go to the side view. Isolate this also. And I'm just going to use the lasso. Lasso selection tool. And put this on face mode. Why is no? Okay, this is the last selection to here. Yeah. Was on the wrong to select more than more than what I need. Something like this should be fine. 
just for generating the eyebrow and eyelashes so control shift i to invert the selection delete okay Uh, I for something. I go for something cleaner. Let's see if we can do something a bit cleaner in here. Nope. Mm, think. Let's use this instead. Let's do detach components. Try and see if I can get something a bit cleaner. Yeah, it really matter that much though. Let's just leave it as it is. So do a quick save. I'll name this to I I scalp. All right, do a quick save. Okay, so I think we have most of what we need now. I'll just go out of solo mode for this. Turn this on. Kong main head, so that should be fine. If I isolate that group, <clears throat> so I have these two for the scalp now. Just put this in a separate group. As scalp. All right, do a quick save. So I believe we're in a good place now. In a good place now, we can. We can with this generate all the years we would need for this character okay so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next lesson bye for now